Okay. Hello everyone and welcome to this After Effects tutorial. Today we're gonna be making this uh, kind of super cool arcane orby thing and the best part is it loops so yeah we can have it go on forever. Let's begin. So for this tutorial we'll be using uh, uh, a plugin called Trap Code Particular. It's fairly common and it's really good for making particles and after effects from scratch. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a solid. Our composition is 1024 by 1024 and that's pretty good for game sprites. So let's go ahead and add the effect Trap Code Particular. So we have our kind of basic particle system and first what I want to do is crank up the particles to maybe 300 so we get a lot more and now I'm gonna get rid of all the velocity to zero all the oh actually first I have to get rid of change direction to directional and get rid of the spread so right now we have just a little dot and what I need is to have this primary particle system kind of generate a line that goes kind of to the right. So I'm gonna go ahead into the physics and change the wind along the x-axis to maybe well, let's say 250. And now we have a little line for our particles to be generated. Next what I need to do is go into this little tab and create a secondary particle system so particles are spawned from each particle in our primary. And in here I'm gonna go ahead and change the color 100% from main so they're all white. I'm gonna change the life to 1 and then I'm gonna change the gravity to minus 500 so it looks like kind of like we're making a sheet of particles. Next I'm gonna change the particles per second so we have like a lot denser. Let's go with, I don't know, let's say 400. Now you notice that our particles are gonna get, gonna ramp up quite a bit, but that's fine. So Next, we want to go ahead and change the size over life of the secondary particles so that they start off kind of zero, no size, and then they kind of change along this graph. I don't really need the size of the particles from, a, from, the, from the primary. I'm going to go ahead and change it to zero because I don't really want that line to be shown. And here's kind of where the magic happens. If you go into the auxiliary system, go into physics, and start to play around with the turbulence, you get to see these really nice and uh, interesting effects. Well, 600 is a little bit too much. Let's go with 300. Okay, let's change the size to maybe 2.5. Yeah, and now they get, you get kind of the variance visible. This line is still a little bit too short so perhaps I need to change the wind across X maybe to 350 so that we have a longer line. Next what we need to do is make kind of the orb effect and the way we do that is you go into the spherical field so that's in physics, air, spherical field and then in here we change the strength to 100 and you're gonna see it over here this kind of little force field that repels particles next I want to make it bigger so let's say maybe 350 maybe a little bit more let's say 400 there you go okay so this way 
we kind of have our particles create the little effect. Next, what we need to do is make sure that our particle kind of sheet is not going over the force field kind of like in here you can see that it's, it's revealing that we're doing some trickery right here so let's go back and let's change the life of the particle to 1.5 this way it won't they won't go too far and I'm picking 1.5 deliberately because the the length of our composition is three minutes. So usually when you want to have kind of looping sprites, uh, you want to have the life near the middle so that you don't get kind of reveal that you're uh, looping the whole system. And there we go. Okay, so far so good. Let's bump up the the gravity to maybe 650. See how there we go. That reveals it a little bit more. And now to add another layer of kind of interesting movements, let's go into the main particles uh, turbulence and kind of play around with that. So let's change the uh, main particle to 175 see what that happens okay that's pretty good so uh, how does it go okay 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 good now we did we're not getting any spell here so this is actually pretty close now uh, the way to get this to kind of loop is fairly simple technique basically what you want to have is keyframe the particle emotion emission so let's click on the little clock start make a keyframe animation and in particular emitter okay so I want the particles to be spawned from frame 1 and in frame 0 no particles and the same is going to go for the end. So we want spawn, move it back, no spawn. Now, right? So this way it's just spawning kind of a burst of particles and then never doing it again. And this way, if I copy the whole layer with the whole particle system and I move it back, it's gonna align. Um, it's gonna make the first frame look very similar to the last one, and that's what makes it loop. So, so we move this here, and just make sure to align it well, and move the time frame, and let's see if it works. So here's the first frame. Uh, here's the last frame and yeah they look perfect you want the first frame to not be the exact same as the last one so that you don't get repeats and it will kind of break break the loop a little bit you want the first frame to be ex exactly after the second so let's wait for this to load and s see if it works already getting kind of the nice effects over the particle field and yep so is it gonna loop and it loops pretty nicely let's see okay so next what we want to do is make sure that all these kind of singled out uh, particles are not really visible so they kind of reveal um, make it look a little bit not good <laughs> so the way we do that 
is going to be let's go into our particular and we're gonna go all the way down into rendering motion blur and that's some motion blur now the motion blur adds a lot of particles to this scene and like a lot a lot super a lot so six million we have right now but you know because this is pre-rendered it doesn't really matter like it's just gonna make our render a little bit longer and our preview so I like to add it just before rendering because otherwise it's just a little bit too painful to wait and yeah it kinda works now you can play around with a lot of the things in this you can play around with the uh, kind of the position of the whole system it's gonna change the look of the whole thing but for in this case uh, I'm not gonna go too far into here so let's undo that and let's add the motion blur to the next one and check our first and last frame so yeah those six million particles a little bit too much yep so if I preview the whole thing okay and through the magic of editing you didn't have to wait for that so here's the effect now it's not perfect but you can play around with the position and everything and you get it in uh, you get it done no problem so I hope you found this useful let me know in the comments if you need any help and stay tuned for more tutorials Bye-bye.